Hi beautiful souls and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium, oracle, and a prophet test, you guys. So it's so nice to meet you. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, you guys have already seen the title of this video so you know um, why you have been drawn in. I don't know what's going to come out in the reading yet. Um, but I can tell you the energies that, um, that I'm feeling. Okay. Um, so first of all, I was meditating and I was getting some very kind of clear messages. So I know it's for some of you guys out here where today the divine masculine is actually going through, um, a tower moment in the way that they are going through a tower, not only with the karmic that they have been in commitment with, but they're also, um, going through tower moments at the, at this time with, um, previous toxic karmics. Okay. So it could be like someone that they were, you know, in long-term connections with married to have children with it could be all that kind of stuff. Okay. So they've got a lot going on. Um, and I feel that the DM is not sleeping very well. Um, I think that for those of them that like do, you know, d divulge in alcohol and substances, I feel that they are um, divulging more at this time. Okay. Partying more, um, it's like they're just really using it as a numbing agent um, because of what, you know, because of everything that they're going through at this time. Uh, so let's just get right into it, you guys. Um, I also keep hearing um, that, you know, like a moth to the, like a moth to the flame. Okay. And I feel that I feel that it's, yes, it's the energy of the DM, like he's, it's a moth to the flame, like when it comes to always circling back to the, to the feminine, okay, to the, to the DF, but, um, it's also in the energy where they are totally realizing the air of their ways, their patterns that they're meant to break here, okay, like, they, they're just coming, they're just becoming more enlightened and aware of, you know, their negative, their negative traits, their negative patterns. They're coming, becoming more aware of the things they know that they have brought into the reality. Okay. So it's like they're, they're understanding that now. Okay. All right. Energies, please. Energies, please around the divine masculine and the divine feminine today around our connection. Yeah. Conflict and defeat. Ah, okay. Number five. All right, so we can see here that the <clears throat> DM is running down away from conflict and defeat. There's this little flame down here and it's like this little flame that's still burning in the darkness. Okay. And I feel that that's the passion, the flame that still has always been there um, that the DM has for the feminine. 333 on the timestamp right now. I was watching um, a video, you know, I love educating myself on the twin flame journey and the twin flame union. And like one of like the major signs of like the deep of the, of the twin flame awakening and like, you know, before they come into union, even after they've come into union, um, is the synchronicities, the numbers, 11, 11, 333, It's all those. So conflict and defeat is around your guys' connection today. Okay. What else? The shadow. Did I not just say that the divine masculine today was becoming aware of their negative traits? It's like their darker energy. It's their shadow side, their shadow self. They're realizing that, that they are a spiritual being in a, in a human body. They're realizing their true divinity they're realizing what these connections are, okay? And they're sad today. Okay. 
Okay. So what they are is they're facing the shadow today. Okay. They are running away from all of the conflicts in their life. Okay. All right. Let's see what else. Balance. Balance being restored. Okay. Um, this is them. No longer, no longer. Um, I feel here too that, you know, because we have this thing called the karmic wheel, right? The karmic wheel, the wheel of destiny. And I feel like I'm just getting this circle to see the circle around the, the light. Okay. Um, for me, that's like very symbolic of the completions of, of a cycle here. But it's like the karmic wheel, okay? All right, what else, spirit? Um, okay, so tell me about the shadow here that the DM is facing at this time today. They've been doing this work, though. Patience and planning, seven. I'm hearing two become one. Um, okay, and look at this. So you know how I was like drawn into the one circle of light? I just heard two become one and look at this. Now in this picture, there's two circles of light, okay? I feel that's representative of both of your guys' souls, your over souls. It's your the light that you both have within you, okay? This is um, movement forward. Triumph. I told you, I just said movement forward and triumph comes out. Chariot energy here and it's 7-7. Seven, seven. Can't make this stuff up, you guys. All right. You know, I don't want to spend a lot of time getting, you know, I'm actually not going to, um, let's see, six now. The DM is looking out at all the possibilities, okay, today running away from the conflicts in their life. No longer wanting to feel defeated. They feel defeated. They feel like it was false it was false victory, self-sabotage. They feel defeated in this situation. They feel they lost. They don't want to lose. They're coming in for victory here. Huh? Overcoming all the obstacles, running away, overcoming the the over overcoming the conflicts, the arguments. Okay, they're ascending to the frequency, the vibration that they wanted to ascend to. All right. Um, okay, so let's do some tarot. Tell me about conflict and defeat, please, for today, for the DM at this time. Conflict and defeat. All right, so we have the Hierophant that flipped over. Okay, Taurus energy. So did you, the Hierophant is a fatherly figure, okay, someone who could be married or has been married, someone who has children, possibly, um, could be a little bit older, it doesn't matter, but you see how I said that I felt today that the DM was literally having tower moments between um, two karmics, okay, and I feel one could have light hair and one could have dark hair, all right, doesn't have to be, but, um, Clearly, this is a confirmation of that. It could be someone that the DM was married to because the Hierophant is also like marriage energy. It's also another five. And then we have the Six of Chalices, okay, which is like um, the Six of Cups, right? So this is nostalgia looking back. So see how he looks so like unhappy 
like not even focused, doesn't even care about the two feminine energies that are down below. That for me is the conflict, the conflicts, right? Like extreme discontent here. And this is an energy where they're feeling the emotional loss. Looks extremely unhappy to me. Okay. So it doesn't matter if they're dating, if they have multiple people that they're entertaining, or if they're just, it does not matter. Extreme discontentment. Okay. So we see that they are overcoming these energies here, right? Um, Six of Cups is looking back looking at photos. They're, they're probably watching you online, looking at all your pictures, looking at pictures that you guys had together, uh, maybe pictures that you guys sent back and forth to each other, videos that you guys have shared. But this is extreme. It's missing It's missing you. It's nostalgia, looking back. Um, it's also past life soulmates, okay? Someone that you've had uh, lifetimes with. Okay. You're, you're each other's person. Notice that in this one, there's two white like cranes or egrets flying in the air, okay? And then there's two like white doves down here. So this shows me, okay, you guys are true love. This is, this is the one, it's true love. Love birds. It also represents that the, um, the divine connection, okay? Um, the, <laughs> the DM could have like two karmics trying to get their attention trying to hang on to them as well. Temperance, healing, look at more birds flying behind you. Those look like flamingos. All right, so this is healing here. Wanting to pour, for me, this is pouring into someone, just pouring into them. It's also divine timing. Okay, so let's see here. How is the DM feeling towards the divine feminine today? Okay, 13 minutes, how is the DM feeling towards the divine feminine today? Nine of chalices, so it's the wish fulfillment and queen of chalices, wow. And then what do we have here? Eight of Wands. Okay, so this is that passionate communication. Nine of Wands, bottom to the deck after that. So Nine of Chalices. This is them. This is them. They're literally like, it's just that they're so, like the energy and the memory of, and the essence of the Divine Feminine is holding the, the Divine Masculine captivated today captivated that um in the way that they know that this is their wish fulfillment this is their one shot this is it this is the one that got away this is the one who is their their uh, it's uh, all everything that they'd ever want all the queens rolled into one it's the empress wish fulfillment here okay You and your person could have um, dark hair. And then Queen of Chalices, yeah. Queen of Chalices is like the most love you can possibly have for someone. It's love that's given. Okay. So they're coming in for this wish fulfillment, manifesting this wish fulfillment. They're also daydreaming, thinking about all the ways that they want to give to the feminine. Okay embracing the feminine, loving the feminine, um, opening up to the feminine. 
Okay, you can see that they want to um, be very compassionate and loving. There's a lot of sensuality, a lot of attraction and passion. You are their queen or king. Do you know what I mean? But it's that energy. In this card, it's a queen. So the queen, you are their queen. And they want to open up to you. And that's what they're doing, okay? So they want you to just sit back and let them just tell you everything. Let them take control. Passionate communication coming in. See that? He's like feeding her. And I mean, it's very, very sexy. Okay? And I feel that this is like the stuff that they dream up in their mind. I feel that also for a lot of you guys, because you're having actual... Um, dreams where you guys are having the same dreams and you're mirroring your dreams and you're having meeting up in your dreams okay and I feel that you guys do this kind of stuff within your dreams okay and um and that's what I feel like too like a lot of times they'll wake up in the morning and they um both of you you have this nostalgic feeling okay Let's see not just from when you guys were in union it's also from when you guys have been in separation all right so what are we at 16 minutes okay oh my goodness look at that <laughs> whoa a little jumpy are we huh huh oh look at that I said a little jumpy are we like oh something gonna come in quickly a surprise I'm taking that unexpected action spontaneous showing up Unexpected change. Chariot. Rides in out of nowhere. Knight in shining armor here. I mean, it's like the emperor in shining armor, though. Emperor drives the chariot. Who is the emperor? The divine masculine. What is the divine masculine? A high vibrational masculine. Side piece, a mistress flirting with others, the other woman's secret hookups. Yeah. Okay. See, this is that. I feel that for many of you, the DM is they are non, you know, they've been non committal. You know, even if they've been in commitments, maybe they were being flirty, um, like messaging with other people online, social media, liking other people's pictures. Um, just like, it's just all that energy, you guys. So. They could be, you know, kind of still in that. All right, so tell me about the, the triumph here, the victory, and the other energies, please, around the DM at this time. It's faith. Okay, so the victory here is because the DM is still wishing, praying, and hoping. This is also about the divine feminine and your guys' manifestations. You guys have been manifesting very powerfully over this past year, especially for many of you. You had faith in the divine. Okay, you surrendered, willed it out, right? All right, what other messages, please, do you want the collective to know? Gossip and revenge. Okay. So, and then bottom of the deck. Okay. So there's gossip going on with, uh, around the, the DMs energy today, probably with these energies here. Um, because you can see that there's a, a, a vengeful, go uh, karmic toxic energy here, a feminine energy, retaliation, plotting back, punishing and getting even. And then this says spreading rumors petty conversations, smearing your image and making you the fool. Okay. So I feel that, um, there's a lot of that kind of toxic energy around the DM today. Um, tox or karmics wanting to get revenge. Um, they could be like fighting each other, arguing with each other, plotting, but there's definitely this energy of petty conversations and gossip and rumors, spreading rumors. Okay. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's because of you, the twin flame. They are aware of you. 
and they know, look at this, it says mirrored emotions. I said, you guys are marrying each other, your other half and shared feelings. So for a lot of you guys, this is it. There, there's a vengeful karmic, okay, who's gossiping about you, um, the twin flame. And that's why the, the DM is ghosting them, okay, because they're just jealous. And the DM doesn't want to deal with those kind of behaviors, okay? They're no longer in and out of their emotions. They're taking control with the chariot energy. Even if there's family involved, they're still taking control and walking away. And they're in pursuit of their twin flame. You'll be hearing from this person very soon, okay? Um, let's get some messages here. Let's do my messages. Messages from the DM today. I am getting the courage to share how I feel. Yeah, and it's going to come in as a surprise, okay? Quickly too, abruptly. And they're going to come in very honorably, very boldly, but like very honorably. And like I said, they're going to want you to just kind of sit back because they're going to want to be in control of this. They're going to want to show you the efforts that they want to put in, okay? I'm ready to make you mine. See, I told you they're going to be putting in the efforts. They're coming in, surprising you. I am not the same person. Uh huh. They've changed, you guys. They've chosen to ascend. They've awoken to to this connection. High-vibed, beautiful, magical, successful, birthing new cycles. Yep, so there's new cycles being birthed here. Why? Because the, the divine feminine has raised their vibrations so much. That is what's owed to them. It's their destiny. Their karmic, karmic gifts, their karmic rewards. It was just bad timing before. See? Something about divine timing, right? You're everything I could ever want. The whole package. That came out yesterday in a reading too. You've shared lifetimes together. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they are aware of this now. Like that's part of what they've woken up to. I want to reach out, but I'm afraid. They're afraid of what you're going to say. They're going to get rejected. But they're going to do it anyways because they're going to surprise you. They want victory and a new cycle begins in love. I'm afraid you won't forgive me for this. See, they're afraid. That's why they're afraid to reach out. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. They're afraid to reach out because, and they've been, because they know speaking their truth is going to change everything. But that's what they want. They're not going to let, they're not going to let, um, they're not going to let their DF go. Okay. All right, incoming energies, please between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. All right. So today, you guys, they are, for a lot of you guys, it's just come through strong today, um, religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah. Two twin flames or past life soulmates that have chosen to ascend. Okay. This is also enlightenment, right? clarity too. It's like the sun energy. Things being brought um, out for you. Clarity coming in. Clarity is coming in. Why? Because someone's coming in to get to know you. They want to reveal their innermost selves to you so your bond can deepen. They've awoken. See the sun energy around the DM and then the sun energy also around the, the feminine energy. Um, it's because of your light, you know, you've shown them such light. And they know that this is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Yep. They're not resisting anymore. Running from all of the conflict in their life. And when I say running from all the conflict in their life, honeymoon comes out. Six of swords energy. This is positive movement forward. This is that moving to calmer waters in their life because they're choosing to love themselves first, which 
the Divine Masculine has not chosen to do for a long time. And they want to spend time alone with you. Retreat. They're also spending time alone today. They're disconnecting from the world. Okay. Finances and career. Um, part of the uh, reason why they have not come in is because of the financial hits that they've taken in the past okay so they had to wait but it was worth waiting for the divine was at play here the whole time all right so let's just get one final message for you guys from the divine masculine today letting you down was the worst decision i ever make hearing deep regret okay feeling feeling it today they feel it like You guys, for most of you guys, when this person comes back in, like this is it. They're not going to ever do something to mess this up again because they can't. Like their vibration is, this is all good. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yep. And then I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it, is it too late for us? So they want to know. Okay. They're coming in. So. This is what I have for you guys, my loves. Um, I hope this resonated. If it did, claim this message as yours by liking and subscribe to the channel. If you want to hone in on your own personal situationship or twin flame journey, I'm still doing personal readings. You can find my info down below in the description box. Send me over an email and I will get you set up. I can do a live video with you or I can send you a recorded reading. Um, if you're interested in joining my tarot class this Sunday, uh, at noon Pacific Standard Time, okay? Uh, tickets are $55, and I do stuff very hands-on. Also, you just email me down below. Let me know you're interested in the, in the tarot class, and we'll get you set up. Um, I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light. Um, also, thank you guys to all of you who have donated to this channel. It truly means the world to me. I'm here doing these readings for free and um, I'm doing it to bring healing for you guys. So just, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So I love you guys. Thank you and have a blessed day. Bye.